Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, today Matt Builds. Uh, I've just been uh, sorting out that foam board. I uh, managed to get the shipping a bit better, but it just seems to be listing to the port side a bit, which I'm going to have to straighten out. Um, what I had to do as well, I had to drill a hole through the foam board, right through, so the uh, electrical cable for the hull can fit through. But this is the on off switch I've had to disconnect that because um, the way I've done it put the ship on an angle it's not going to go in so this will have to stay out and the lights will have to be permanently on only when it's dark and also I've not tried the other lights yet for a long while because the um, power bank is dead is dead so that's going to have to be charged up but I managed to get the ship back in uh, this week I'm gonna get some tin foil glue all that lot on even all these gaps there so I'm gonna have to fill that in with some polystyrene well foam board what I've got left in that bag over there that I've dug out well I mean, I must admit, it's um, it's not looking too bad, to be honest, which uh, I prefer, really. It has been a hard slog getting all of that out. It was really hard work, especially with a Stanley knife and a chisel, as I didn't have any other tools to use, which I'm sure of. But I had to do it that way. But um, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's just up what uh, you subscribers think about it. If I could uh, do it any other way better. I mean, I'm open to suggestions. That's no problem at all. You can comment any, anything you like. I mean, if you don't like it, just tell me. Just be honest. I won't, I won't be offended. I mean, I've had uh, two tips which I'm going to uh, take on board. Um... I just wish there was an easier way of cutting that foam board because it, it, it was ridiculous. So anyway, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm going to get some more foam board for that one over there, the Missouri. Get that one done. Uh, but I'll just show you where I'm up to. Right, where you can see that cable over there, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to cut out a channel somehow. Cut out the channel so it just rests like that. Right, so I'll just bring the camera a bit further forward if I can. Most likely, I don't think I'll be able to. Just bring it down a bit. There we are. That's the nearest I can get it because it's on a, a shelf, the camera. Um, this plug, as you can see, has gone in through here, but the problem is, when I put some wood along here to cover this lot up, I'm going to have to uh, take this back out, disconnect it from the ship, and I've got the wood, well I hope I've got plenty, put it along here, glue it all on, and along the sides, coming all the way down, and at the front here. But this gap here, which you can't see at the moment, uh, just push this back. No, you still can't see it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put styrene in there. Um, but like I said, it's going to be tin foil all along. I mean, if I can get it close enough to here. I'll just fill this lot up with styrene, put a bit in there, and at the back, I'll just stuff it up and glue it in, so it's not going to be noticeable. Uh, I mean, the ship fits in quite snugly, and then I'm going to have to... 
I'll have to get the paint from Hobbycraft. Put a bit of uh, what's it in here where there's a gap there. Put a bit of styrene in here so it fills that up. But apart from that, it doesn't look at all that bad. And where the iceberg's going is here. When it well, well, you can't see it again. It's here, the iceberg, right close to it. I don't know whether to cut anything out of there, just glue the iceberg on. But I'm going to have to find something uh, on YouTube how to make an iceberg out of clay. But at the moment, there's nothing else I can do apart from digging up the channel for that, put it in, and then take it out when I put the well, to the old ship will have to come out when I start spraying it. I mean, it's not looking that bad to be honest. I mean, even me uh, trumpeter tight, uh, not my trumpeter tight, the hachette Titanic build fits in there nicely as well. But that'll be going on a display stand. That I'm not putting that in here because, like, the propellers move round. And I mean, there again, though, I mean, it's a pity I didn't like have anything for this to make the, uh, the smoke come out. It's a shame that I could have done with that something like that in there but I can't do that with it because it's all glued down the masts they're safe up here and they nearly broke the ship with the knife falling off so that's uh, one mast goes there as you can see one mast there and I put the other mast over here like that so you can see the mast there and then all the rigging is going on because this is this lot is never coming off anymore because if I had to take it off I'll have to because I'm not gluing the mast over there again I can't even take the mast out but the, the, all the strings going on, and it's going into the, the Marconi radio room. But uh, I'm, I'm going to have to make something so these four cables going across. And um, I don't know how I'm going to do that because this kit didn't come with anything like that, which I thought it would have done. This, this is the problem, with, like with the trumpeter kits. You do not get a full kit. You have to uh, upgrade which is that's another extra 200 odd quid but it's like with the deck this decking is this decking is only fablon it's not the original decking but I, I couldn't afford it so I'll just start get some fablon and put it on it, it doesn't look too bad to me anyway it looks it looks really good because if I tried painting it and uh, the lights come on well you'd be able to see it through the deck even with the paint which I'm going to have to get for the Missouri. But like back to this though, um, like I said, the tin foil going on here, the glued on. Uh, I'm thinking of just gluing the iceberg on with the tin foil going round it. Try and get it as close as I can and trim off what's not needed, which I'll be recording. But that's my main priority at the minute that wire. I need to dig out a channel to rest that switch inside so it's just showing through it's just showing through but uh, oh there again I could just leave it as it is and just rest the what's it on top I mean I could just put that on there just rest it as it is with the power bank at the side here And so it's out of the way, so you've just seen the port side. And I'll tell you something though, when this, this is done, it's going on the uh, second shelf where my Spitfire is, and my Spitfire is going to have to go on the top. Because right, right, I might just leave it here for now until I've got everything organised. But on the other desk there, I don't know, I'm sitting while they're doing the builds. But 
this really needs to build here because this is my main build desk because this is where I built this on this part I think it is anyway can't remember well anyway that's my plan get it done like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to take the masts out so they don't get broke and just pull up there I took one of the life bolts off here because I need to get that rigging glued back in there. I can't understand why it came out. I shouldn't have glued the life bolts to be honest, but I'm not going to re glue it. So that's uh, all I can say for now. Like I said, that's my plan. Get that done. It just seems to be sinking a bit that I can see. So I'll lift it up just a touch and put it straight level so it's not uh, got a, a five uh, list degree list to port. Well. That's all I can uh, say at the moment. There's nothing else I can uh, say. So I'm not going to babble on. So if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. So until the next time, guys, hopefully Thursday, um, I'll see you then. Bye for now.